wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. I got damn tired of shit. Hello my fellow adventurers and D&D enthusiasts. I want to welcome all of you back to the channel, where today we'll be taking a look inside my Dragonair account and hopefully be talking about some of the champions in the game. So now, without any further delay, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is my account. This is me entering the account for the second time. I have entered this account before, but that was when I was installing and setting up my account earlier a few days ago. So technically this is my first time properly getting on with the account. Oh look who we have here. It's Ivy Lee Gaming. A shout out for her for being such a great content creator. Feel free to check her channel later after watching this video. Anyways, enough distractions. Let us go and take a look at the champions now. Oh by the way, I might do some champion summonings in the future. It's just a heads up. Today. We will be taking a look at mostly the fire element champions. Maybe I can do more videos in the future where I take a look at the other elemental champions. But like I mentioned, it will be the fire element today. Okay, let's start with Garika. Oh, another disclaimer. I may butcher some of the names, so apologies beforehand. Anyways, this is Garika and these are her stats. Give me a sec, let me read them as well. Her passive is called Gift of the God of War. Whenever an enemy gains a buffy buff, our pretty hero gets eager to make an attack and thus reduces her own recharge time by 10%. When our hero bullets an enemy by putting a debuff on him or her, the enemy champion gets 10% increase on the recharge time. Now let's take a look at the battle skill, aka the active skill. It's called Searing Smite. Long story short, it deals fire damage to enemies within this range. Enemies that are hit by that skill will get their accuracy reduced by 50% for 5 seconds. Another thing to keep in mind is this is how the skill is in level 1. So as it gradually levels up, there are some bonuses that will be added to the skill. As for the ultimate, it's called Commander's Toss. When our hero uses this ultimate skill, the allies in the team will sharpen their accuracy for 10 seconds. The ultimate deals fire damage to the enemies within the range showed above and it will also take away one buff from each of the enemies. When our hero champion successfully takes away the enemy's buff, the enemy won't be able to regain a buff again for 10 seconds. Before we take a look at the next champion, let me show you all your captain skill. So in case you don't know what a captain skill is, it is like a passive skill that a few certain champions have that can buff an entire team if the said champion or hero is said to be champion or leader of the team. Anyways, it's time for us to move on to the next champion. He's called Eric and he has big horns. It seems he also has the captain's aura, which will allow him to increase all allies attack by 30%. As for the passive skill, it's called Fortune Sense. This skill is very self-explanatory, so I won't be reading it. But if you need more time to read the skill, feel free to pause the video for Pinky Bit. And in case you're wondering what wild is, just wait a little for when we take a look at the active skill, which is in 3, 2, 1. The hero will summon a flame pillar under the enemy, which deals fire damage. By doing so, the hero's attack will increase by 50% for 5 seconds. Now that that's out of the way, allow me to explain what wild is. This is where the D&D aspect comes into the game, so you would need to perform a dice check to cast skills with wild status. As for this particular hero, the basic success rate is 30%, and obviously this success rate can increase because of this champion's passive skill. Let's move on to the ultimate skill. The hero will summon 5 meteorites to strike the marked out area, which deals fire damage to random enemies within the range. The next champion, I mean hero, that we will take a look at is called Flora, and it seems she will have some wild skills as well. Let's start with her aura. Her aura increases all the allies crit rate by 20% in dungeon battles. As for a passive skill, it is called Pact Servant. And by the way, before I read this skill, I have some bad news to share. My voice is starting to hurt a lot, and like a lot of you may already know, I have been very very sick for the last few months. And I think a few of you also know why I'm so sick. Anyways, the moral of the story is, I don't think I can voice the rest of the video. So I will just be reading this skill and after that, I guess I will just play some music while showing each of the champions and their skills. 
Anyways, time for me to read the skill. So every time an ally successfully enters wild, the familiar will automatically unleash its battle skill on the current ally's target once. And this is the battle skill that the familiar will unleash. Let the music begin. Tear us apart and bury me All in my head alone Calling your name but only feel the cold I sense the change in energy All of my fuels is blown If I I want to thank everyone for watching this video. It was loads of fun looking at different champions and their skills. If this video does good, I may upload more videos like this one. And by the way, if you're interested in checking out more videos about Dragonair, click on any of the videos on the left hand side of the screen. While if you want to check out what other kinds of videos I make, it would be on the right hand side of the video. Anyways, take care, stay foxy, adios, bye.